What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles. Today, I'm going to focus in on uh, Bo Starrett of the uh, South Shore Kings, uh, Cornell commit. We'll get to that in a second. And uh, the latest of the uh, the Starrett hockey family. You know, uh, Pete, Troy, and Shane are all huge fans of the Power Play, uh, all Capitol Memorial guys. And, um, you know, Bo played at CM and is now with uh, the, the Kings and having a very good year. He's got 32 points in 30 games. And, uh, you know, he's a great facilitator of the puck. He's got 24 assists in those 30 games. I know I was just reading about him online. He he was uh, snake bitten early in the season in terms of not getting a bounce. So, not getting the bounces, plural. Uh, much like, I mean, look at Closure versus here. It's the same situation. I mean, obviously a little bit different in the competition, you know, versus playing uh, in the USPHL Premier League versus playing in the NHL. But, I mean, that's, I mean, good players find a way to even out the stat line. I think that'll be the case at the end of the year. You know, it'll be, it'll be fine with them. Uh, like I said, committed to Cornell, going up to a great program. They're playing very well this year. Uh, power play CJ fan Brian Ferrell's having a, a very solid year. Uh, Boston Bruins prospect, and uh, you know it's good. It's good to see. And I think uh, Stroud will be a, a good player up there. I mean, he's got the the size for it. He's six foot four and uh, 195 pounds. You know, I'd like to see him fill out a little more, but not necessarily to the point where he loses what makes him effective. I think too often the guys bulk up, and uh, you know they lose a little bit of foot speed. It's like, uh. -huh. You know, but uh, you gotta find that happy medium. It just you know, when you go into a good D1 school, they got the trainers and the wicked smart kids that Cornell can figure that shit out. Uh, but you know, you look at um, you know the way he plays the game. He's got some pop. He's, he goes around the net. He's, he's not a pussy out there. Um, and you know, I think that's obviously gonna help you at the next level. Just going to the high traffic areas. I think too often these guys are, are big and they're perimeter players, and it's like you know you, you lose. What, what should make you most effective that's your size but you know that's not a case that's not the case with him and uh you know he, he's been good against the competition which is which is definitely a good thing obviously as i overuse the word good but um you know i, I like where his career is headed i think um going to cornell is obviously a great it's a great school academically uh, ivy league the smart kids and um you know his brother Pete played at Harvard and uh, tries at Babson, two very good schools. So there's um there's definitely you know high level of academia, and uh, again you know I think it's also it's great hockey. You know I don't want to say more importantly because you know college at, at college at sports student athletes, uh, but you know being able to play at a high level like that is is a good thing for him, and I think it'll definitely benefit his development in the long and short term. He's ranked I think 81st overall by among North Americans. Can't say the list around somewhere. And, uh, you know, I think he'll definitely be a third or fourth round pick, maybe even a second. You know, I think a team could take a flyer on him. Playing for Hollow, who's a uh, Edmonton Oilers scout, could, you know, play into it. Although, I, I, the Edmonton Oilers could be, under, could be undergoing a complete and total overhaul. So, uh, I, don't, I don't know how what his job security is like. But, you know, I think, again, you, you let him develop. He's nowhere near being ready, but you, you let him hit the sum of his parts come together. And uh, you could have a very, very, very intriguing prospect. In a few years, and like I said, when you draft these guys, you know these college comments, nine times out of ten, you gotta let them take their time to develop. Unless you're drafting, you know, next year, 2015, Jack Eichel or Noah Hannafin, you know, you definitely need um need seizing. And you know, I think with if he's given that, he'll be a um very very good professional hockey player. Anyway, that's why I get in this episode of the Power Play with CJ Prospect Profiles on Bo Starrett of the South Shore Kings in 2014 draft eligible forward. Stay tuned for my episodes, tip the season, and beyond. Later, guys.